Most of us were never actually taught how to learn. We were just told what to learn. Physics formulas, history dates, vocab lists. And so we kind of guessed. We reread our notes, highlighted everything in neon yellow, maybe crammed the night before the test and called that studying. But here's the kicker. According to cognitive science, most of those strategies don't really work. They feel productive, but they're basically an illusion of learning. Over the past century, researchers have figured out what actually makes knowledge stick. Methods that build deeper understanding, longer retention, and more flexible thinking. Today, I want to walk you through three of those high-impact strategies and show you how AI is scaling them in ways we've never seen before. So, picture this. You're studying, and instead of rereading your notes, you close the notebook and try to recall everything you can remember. That's retrieval practice. It's sometimes called the testing effect, but it's not about taking tests. It's about using recall itself as a learning tool. When you force your brain to pull information out, it strengthens the connections that store that knowledge. You're basically telling your brain, hey, this is important, keep it. Neuroscientists have found that every time you recall, it's like a mini consolidation event. The memory gets restabilized, reinforced, and better integrated. And the data is wild. Students who use retrieval practice outperform those who just reread by huge margins, even when there's no feedback. Now with AI, this is becoming incredibly scalable. A Cornell study found that students who used LLM-generated quizzes, so AI-generated retrieval questions, scored 89% accuracy, compared to 73% without it. And it's not just effective, it's kind of fun. Platforms like Open Elms bake retrieval into games and interactive quizzes. All courses come equipped with fun games to test your knowledge. The system tracks what you forget, adapts and keeps resurfacing those weak spots until they stick. Let's move to something visual. Have you ever noticed how an idea clicks when you sketch it out? That's dual coding, combining words and visuals to create two roots to the same concept. When your brain encodes something both verbally and visually, it doubles your odds of remembering it. And now AI tools can do this instantly. With the Open Elms Learning Generator, for example, you can type a simple prompt, even upload a PDF of your textbook, and in minutes the system generates a full course where text is accompanied by beautiful and relevant AI images. If you don't like an image, regenerate it, change the style, customize it. Suddenly, you're not just reading about a process, you're seeing it. And that combination, text plus imagery, is what turns abstract ideas into mental models you can actually use. All right, last one. We've all done this thing where you study all night, ace the test, and forget everything a week later. Yeah, that's mass practice or cramming. The opposite is spacing, spreading learning sessions over time. And this might be one of the most powerful and most proven effects in all of cognitive science. Spacing takes advantage of forgetting. When you almost forget something, then recall it again, that relearning locks it in way deeper. You're telling your brain, hey, this keeps coming up, better hold on to it. AI takes this principle to another level. Adaptive spacing systems can now personalize the intervals for each learner, predicting when you're about to forget something and scheduling a quick review just in time. In Open Elms, it's totally automatic. The system tracks what you struggle with or course you're avoiding and nudges you to revisit it later. No planner, no post-it, no guilt trip. When we align how we learn with how our brains actually work, something shifts. Learning stops being this exhausting cycle of memorizing and forgetting and starts becoming intentional. Retrieval, dual coding, spacing, three simple evidence-based principles now made practical, even effortless with AI. If you're teaching, building courses, or just trying to learn smarter, tools like Open Elms can make these cognitive science insights part of your daily workflow. So next time you sit down to study, remember, don't just review, retrieve. Don't just read, visualize. Don't just cram, space it out. Because when we start learning by design instead of by habit, that's where mastery really begins. Many thanks for watching this episode of our AI in Education series. And now a final word from our prehistoric sponsors. Oh man, exam season's coming up. I asked my teacher how to revise and he said, just wing it. Easy for him to say, he's a pterodactyl.